Hi my dear spirited minds, hope you are all doing great. Dear friends, today I would like to share a book with you. Actually I want to give information about a book, uh, a kind of a book review. And I want all of you to read this book as soon as possible. And when, why I am suggesting read this book compulsively because first factor is that you will identify yourself with this book. And when you are going through this book, a kind of sense will develop in you that this book is about you. As if this book is about your uh, inner calling, inner voice. Friends, when I am saying inner voice or inner calling, we all have, we are leading lives, incomplete lives, friends. When I am saying incomplete friend, uh, life, friends, that somewhere we have compromised because of uh, the system, because of the parents, because of the teachers, because of the friends. That, that's the reason I'm saying incomplete life. We are not leading our life. But this book gradually shows the path to lead your life according to your inner voice. So why to follow inner voice? And leading your life according to your inner voice, is it easy? No friends, it's not at all easy. It's very difficult, but yet, it is worthy to follow your inner voice. Gradually, sooner or later, you will find the fruits of uh, following your inner voice in your life. And coming back to this book, this book is Jonathan Livingston Siegel, written by Richard Bach. And this was published in 1970. And even some of you may be thinking about book, about why to read this book again. No, this book is a very small book, friends. It's less than 100 pages. And even in the less than, uh, even in that uh, 100 pages, out of 100 pages, almost 45 pages will be of images. So uh, easily in an hour or one and a half hour span, a time span, you will read this book. But I suggest read it slowly. But and as many days as possible. Take your own time. Think on that. But I'm sure once you start the book, you'll uh, finish it in one sitting. And coming, let's go back to the book, friends. Now this book says that following inner calling. Now it is about seagulls. The seagulls' way of life is such that. Just their main purpose of uh, survival is just fly a little uh, distance, collect food and live. That's it. Come back and live. So the main purpose, according to seagulls, their uh, main belief is that the flying is meant for collection of food and eating. So their main goal, purpose of living is eating. And the means to get that food is flying. That's it. Now here. Our hero, Jonathan Livingston Seagull, gets a doubt. Our, it's instead of doubt, he aims, he strongly desires that why only the flying should be for food, collection of food. What will happen if you fly far off places, higher places, faster? So when he expresses this idea and tries to follow practices uh, flying, all the other community of seagulls ridicule him. Forget about the uh, community ridiculing him, making fun of him. Even Jonathan Livingston's parents also couldn't take uh, that idea. And mother shockingly says that, what happened to you, John? Why are you uh, worried about uh, flying? Why don't you be like other seagulls and eat, just eat and uh, live it? Live like other, uh, just eat and live like other seagulls. That much level of conditioning is there, friends. So here you'll come to know how we all were conditioned in our life. So in that aspect, if you look, you, you will find what we have lost. And not only that, when you are reading this book, you will find your strength. I'm sure friends, you will find your strength, which is limitless. So gradually you began to explore your inner strengths and that inner strength which you obtain by following your inner voice is going to improve your life tremendously, friends. That's the reason I'm suggesting you to all, suggesting you all to read the book. Coming back to the story, when he questions, uh, when he tries to fly, all will make fun of him. 
and uh, sees that impossible uh, to fly longer play, uh, uh, longer distances, higher uh, levels, and faster. But yet he tries. He tries. He practices flying. In that process, he faces many uh, troubles, challenges. In some occasions, he was almost about to die. But gradually, he will pick up, and he will uh, improve his flying skills. And uh, faster he will fly, and he will go to the next level. Because he was out, because he was outcasted, and he is no longer uh, invited into the uh, flock community, seagulls community. He will be living some other places. In the process of uh, uh, learning flying, he will go to other world, which we may call heaven. There he will find other seagulls too. There he will meet uh, Sullivan, instructor, and. Identical. Uh, there he will meet other seagulls who are similar, to, similar uh, with a similar mindset of a uh, uh, Jonathan Livingston seagull, and he thinks that Jonathan thinks that this is the end. Then he will come to know there is next level of uh, flying is there. So he will come to know about that and he will learn that. And there is a elder uh, seagull who is uh, who we can be, who can be considered as um, uh, head chiang he teach uh, sullivan and uh, chiang teach uh, all the principles of uh, flying actually principles of flying here can be uh, understood as principles of freedom and jonathan will become expert in that and after learning that when uh, they will ask them, uh, when uh, when uh, when they will ask Jonathan to teach uh, the seagulls, who were uh, experts, then the ordinary earthly seagulls, he refuses to do that because he will be thinking that there may be uh, on the earth there may be other seagulls who will be thinking like him, and uh, he will request uh, Sullivan and he will come back to earth and he will start. He will find a student, first student, uh, Fletcher Lind, Fletcher Lind. And along with him, other uh, other uh, seagulls he will teach them. Gradually, he will be the uh, Fletcher Lynn will be the main teacher at the end, and uh, Jonathan Livingston uh, Jonathan Livingston uh, seagull will pass away. But he lived his life with purpose, and not only that, he because of his existence, there is a huge change. There is a huge change in the lives of seagull, though it's a fable. If we apply the same to our life, we will find many meanings, uh, friends. So, this book answers your inner calling. Not only answering your inner calling, it will give strength to you. Please do read this book, friends. And please, uh, when you read this, if, if you can't get the physical copy, please at least listen to the audio version in the YouTube also. YouTube. And please do share your uh, opinions about this book. And if you find any other books also, please do let me know that. I'll be sharing uh, about the book reviews with you all. So this is what uh, th uh, this episode, friends. This is Durga Ragunta signing off.